Party people in the place to be, live from 58 Dream Street. This is Friday Night Frost Haven. And I don't know about you folks at home, but I'm having a pretty good Friday. All right, here we are. Episode. Really good one. I've yeah. Been work- I've been workshopping that all week. Good. <laughs> said in Wednesday, good. of course. Of course, every- I said in class on Wednesday, remember. We're not going to have class on Friday, so that should be a pretty good Friday for all of us. And it went over really well there, too, so I'm going to ride that, I'm gonna ride <laughs> that one. Students in applause. Yeah, I'm going to ride that one until it gets stale. <laughs> until it's played out. So here we are, back for another round in the Crystal Enclosure scenario. So why don't we get mm-hmm. on down to business, player one. Playing the Easter pain conduit, Dr. Becky Goodpain. It's Rich. How you doing, Rich? So good. Well, I'm glad to hear that, Rich. Me, uh, yeah, cool. <laughs> Great. There's nothing else to add. <laughs> we, are, we are finishing this scenario today. <laughs> oh, we definitely are. Player two, playing the Vermling Trapper, the Red Rocket. It's Michaela. How are you, Michaela? Good. Thanks for having me. <laughs> Always a pleasure. <laughs> Thanks for having me. Yeah. Thanks for having me, Internet. <laughs> <laughs> We're glad to have you. Oh, I should say hello, guided by voices. I see you are lurking while you. Ooh, Subnautica. Spooky. That's a game about swimming underwater, from what I understand. And if you know anything about the underwater part of the world, you know that it's filled with uh, lurking horrors. <laughs> Player three. Uh, with whom I recently celebrated another 50th episode milestone when Greg and James beat him up, had its 50th episode on Tuesday. Uh, As it turned out, SPY, Special Project Y, a completely ludicrous game in a really good way. Just absurd. Yeah. Like, they did go for a James Bond theme loosely by stealing the James Bond intro for the attract screen. But from there, they really didn't try to hew too closely to the James Bond archetype. It was more like, what completely ridiculous thing could we do in this next level? These guys are Space Harrier now. Now it's Contra. Now it's a beat em up again. Anyway, it was cool. Uh, anyway, this is all to say, player three, playing the Inox Drifter, the biggest hobo. It's Greg. How you doing, Greg? Good. Better than Tuesday, I think. <laughs> this long weekend is, is, is looking like it's going to be pretty good for the old Gregster. <laughs> Excellent. I'm glad to hear it. I do know one part of your long weekend, which is that we're all going to see Godzilla X Kong uh, tomorrow night. Mm-hmm. And that, oh, I, I do need to Can't tangent Can't wait to see those big monsters kiss. I am pretty excited. I think it's going to be, uh, speaking of like ludicrous in a good way, I don't expect this movie to compel me with any thoughts about the horrors of nuclear war uh, or any of the things right. that, you know, the, the serious Godzilla films aim for. But I certainly do expect it to be like uh, to involve, you know, like King Kong suplexing Godzilla. (laughs) (laughs) And that'll be cool. But one thing I did discover, because Danielle asked me, what is this movie? Oh, no. My 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 reading the two sentence Wikipedia plot summary and explaining how one sentence makes it sound amazing and the second one sounds horrible, is ruined because some nerd saw the movie and now the Wikipedia plot summary is eight paragraphs. But the short version is that the first paragraph said, King Kong and Godzilla must join forces to fight a hollow earth monster. Uh, So apparently this is a hollow earth movie now. Uh, A hollow Mm -hmm. earth monster that is a giant orangutan. A kaiju orangutan. They have been Hollow Earth movies since they introduced Hollow Earth in King of the Monsters. Like, it's, you're like five years behind here, man. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I've only seen I've seen Godzilla, like the Brian Cranston Godzilla. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And that is all that I've seen of the newest series of the monster. Oh, actually There's another sense in the Wikipedia the plot summary. Tomorrow. Sorry, I should watch. Them you should all? start watching the monsters before before the movie tomorrow. It's actually a pretty good movie. Okay. The rest of them, King of Monsters is pretty good. The rest of them are I've exactly what you're describing, but it's good. That King of Monsters is good. I I probably won't have time, but if I, I get time, think, I'll do it. I think Kong Skull Island is also quite good. Uh, and I watched Kong uh, Godzilla versus Kong 
three times in four days when it came out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so yeah, the first sentence of this plot summary back when it was just a two sentence synopsis was yeah, like Kong and Godzilla join forces to fight a hollow earth kaiju orangutan. And I was like, okay, mm-hmm. great. That sounds like exactly what I want. And then like sentence two is like this reveals like several secrets about the origin of the kaiju and the history of the monster. And I was like, no, I don't care about that. Don't tell me that. I don't want to spend a single moment learning about where these things came from. This is uh this is an excellent opportunity for us tomorrow for you to hate the lore and for me to love the lore. Yeah. For you to get a good, a good dose of rich in a second road event or yeah. video listen, event. Listen, James, I think I think God if my voice has, has a good point here. You should you should rewatch Godzilla, then watch Godzilla King of Monsters, watch Kong Skull Island, Godzilla X Con, then the entire Monarch Legacy of Monsters miniseries, just jam that all in there. I'm and just, then you'll be prepared. I'm just going to throw out that Guided by Voices was laying down a stronger gauntlet because he didn't say every Monsterverse movie. He said every Godzilla Oh, you're right movie. now. Start with, that's, start with the original Godzilla. That's another line I did not like seeing in the Wikipedia summary when it said, Godzilla X Kong is the sixth movie in the Monsterverse cinematic universe. It's like, oh, God. I liked the movie more before I knew that it was part of a cinematic universe. But we'll see. It's a loose universe. They rewrite it every movie, to be yeah. honest. Well, that works for me. <laughs> Martin. Yes, that is the, that is, uh, like, the Hollow Earth concept itself does go back. Jules Verne, you know, classic sci-fi. And, you know, I, as much as it doesn't make any sense, like, obviously, we can't, the, the planet can't be hollow. That, that wouldn't work. Um, what if we talk about this when we go to the movie tomorrow fun. and we play Frostaven now? <laughs> All right, fine. Hey, player four, the showrunner, the game runner, your host here at 58 Dream Street, playing the Lurker Deep Wraith. Click Trill, Snip Click. It's James. How am I doing? Well, like I said, I'm having a pretty good Friday. Ho oh, ho. You see what I did there? All right. Funnier every time, James. I'm hoping it's like the rake gag. And so around the like 12th time I get it in, it'll start being funny. Maybe. Yeah. The only one I, way to I don't know if I'll get, I don't, the problem is that you can just step on another rake like a second later. <laughs> I don't know that I, I'm going to fit 12 of these in. Okay. So here we are. We're in a tight spot. Uh, most particularly, you can't see her, but uh, click trill, snip click there. Uh, and also, if you want to know where Greg is, there he is, the drifter. Um, hey. I'm in a particularly tight spot because I have one hit point and four cards left in my hand and I'm surrounded by enemies. I'm not super optimistic. So I'm going to try to go in a blaze of glory here with a big final turn to hopefully set my friends up. I don't know, but I'm going to give it a try. And, um, yeah. That's what I got. I got doing my best, and I'm going to. So I believe we're in round 10. Either that or we were supposed to go into round 11, but there's no round counter rule thing, so it doesn't actually matter. Uh, so we'll just say this is round 10. Here we are. We're surrounded. Uh, we got some beatings on some of the enemies. If the Algox priests don't heal before the Algox guards act, then normal guard three, this fella, is just going to die. He's, he's baned and he's wounded. I'll get his skull if I'm still alive. So that'll be fun for me. Uh, then there's damage on every single one of them except for the Algox Ice Speaker, which only has 10 hit points, although it also does have two shield and cause brittle with every attack. So, mm, yeah, this is... Uh, and remember, dicey. the special rules give all of these enemies like three to four shield, depending on where they're standing. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, so, right, of course. Thank you, Greg. We should reiterate, the special rules here are that the pillars all have eight hit points, and they grant one shield each to every, uh, the monsters within range four. Not great uh, at all, because there's also, there's a pillar right here, in addition to this one, this one, and this one. If we have to do this over again, we either have to take Martin's advice and really go heavy on direct damage, or we have Mm -hmm. to take the the alternate route of really actually laying into these pillars when we get sucked into this room 
But anyway, this is the situation that we're in, and hopefully Michaela has come up with a brilliant scheme. Yeah. Michaela, get us out of this. <laughs> yeah. I'm All ready. Right. My plan is, like I said, maybe I'll survive, but but I won't. Um, but maybe I will, and that'd be cool. But I will do my best to uh, do something on my way to the grave. Down to Davy Jones's locker. So I'm ready. I'm ready. Rich? He's getting there. You can't expect Rich to be as prepared as Michaela. <laughs> uh, I'm good. Okay. All right. Round 10 or maybe 11. Is everybody ready? Hell yeah. Put them up, team. Boom. And then... I'll flip a bunch of cards for our foes. <sighs> I'll sigh heavily. It is round 10. Thank you, Martin. I should. I knew Martin was in the chat. Why did I even leave the possibility that someone wasn't here who knew the answer? Um, okay, so sound off. Uh, pain conduit. 29. 29. I don't know if I'm... If I'm uh, successfully no selling this <laughs> it's not great news <laughs> with the cards that i've flipped up for the enemies um okay 29 all right how about you drifter 25 25 i was sure hoping you'd say something other than that uh, mm. but hold on hold on at least i can say 14 how about you trapper 20 20! Okay, that's also not nothing. And then... Oh, of course, the ice speaker is going first, and it has a it has two paragraphs of text on its ability card. Oh, Jesus Christ. They're concise paragraphs, but there are two separate paragraphs of text. And the guards will round it out. So, uh, the, the really frustrating thing is that, indeed, the priests are going to tend to the clan. And they are acting well before the guards. So, most likely, unless we just kill the thing that stupid guard with the wound and the bane is just going to be okay not thrilled with that what's going to happen with the algox ice speaker it is going to create a one hex obstacle tile in an adjacent empty hex closest to an enemy all enemies adjacent to the created obstacle suffer hazardous terrain damage so i'm burning a card right now are you adjacent I will be adjacent when it creates a thing adjacent to me. Oh, I thought there was an extra hex between you and it. It's hard to see. There's a lot of standees. Uh, no, no, no. It's not next to... Oh, wait. Wait. Oh, oh. Yep. I was attaching the word adjacent to the wrong thing. Created one yeah, hex obstacle adjacent. tile in an adjacent empty hex closest yeah. to an enemy. Adjacent is not the hex closest to an enemy. It's adjacent to it and closest to an enemy. I will not have to burn a card just yet. Yeah, you'll want to work. So that's good news. Uh, what will I represent this new obstacle with? Uh, mm. Obstacle token. Yeah, I'll just get some random obstacle. Hold on. What, like a quarter? Do you have any cash on hand? It's going to create a crate. Sure. Watch all the monster movies together. All right. <laughs> the crate is created, and then oh, I'm holding the element tokens. I was like, where are my element tokens? Uh, it's going to infuse frost and earth. Okay, well done, what ice speaker. That? It's deep wraith time. Okay, okay, what can I do now that, that this guy has very frustratingly? Uh, been forecasted to get healed. Uh, you can create a pillar. Can you kill someone? Let's see. Okay. Let me look around here. Who's got... Let's see. This guy has one, two, three, four. Uh, if you just damage somebody, I'm happy to kill you to kill them. Can you kill me and that will kill them? No. I can do two damage to you and then do two damage to them. So if you get them down to two, I can kill oh. you to kill them. Well, hey, that... That that's not nothing, but hold on. Just okay. gotta be next to it. Okay, and then number six. Ah, oh. okay. Okay. 
Uh, I guess I'll try this. Okay, I'm going to use the top of lacerating stabs. I want to, one, two, three, four. Okay, so this will do more than nothing. Uh, first, I will do an attack two on this fellow, Elite Algox Guard number two. This is an attack that causes wound. It's an attack two. He, of course, has one, two, three, four shield. So what I'm anticipating shield. doing here is wounding him. He's already wounded. Number two is already wounded. Oh. Yes. Okay. Uh, you know what? Nice. It might will... be preferable to wound a priest. Yeah, I will just start on. You know what? Just in general. <laughs> Just, you, yeah. you know what? Even though that's true, I still think it makes the most sense to do it. You know, no, I'll do it to the priest first. Attack two to elite priest one. Uh, he has, of course, four, shield. five, six um, shield. So this is just going to be a wound. Pulling it, plus two. Oh, that's a bummer. Four, bounces off, but he is wounded. Mm -hmm. Then I will do an attack three because the target is different from the first target uh, and attack three to this guy who also has four shield probably not going to do anything but maybe it'll touch him a bit pulling it minus one nothing nothing but then i will do an attack for oh my goodness i oh, i'm so bad at this i'm still getting used to this character uh i will use one skull or yeah i'll spend one trophy to poison a uh, normal guard three. Okay, he has poisoned it. So now this will be an attack five. Uh, and then, since I am going to- He also to... has, he has three negative conditions on him now as well. Yeah, but one of them is Bane. So the, the time that I care about them having a, a three negative conditions is so I can Bane them. Ah, I see, I see. And that's not gonna work here. So- That's not gonna uh, happen. No, but. I'll also spend my other remaining trophy to poison. Uh, Italy. Oh, hey, the poison also will stop him from recovering health when he, if he's healed at least. Uh, yes. To poison Algox Guard number two. Okay, done. Great. All right, and now an attack five against this guy who has three shield. Attack five against shield three. Pulling it, plus zero, two damage. Is he number six or number seven? He's number three. Oh, sorry, I... Two damage. <laughs> two damage. So he's All down right. to one hit point, and he can't actually... <laughs> I guess he can be healed because there's multiple priests, but at least then they have to dump all the heals on him. Yeah, it, and he's the one they're going to target. what it is. Okay, so that's lost. I gained out of two experience points for having done it, but where's my camera? I might have a trap somewhere. Does Michaela have a trap down? Not currently. Put a trap down so that we can use that card. Like... That was my point. Nice. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, just trap. Hold on. I'm just suffering a brief moment of bafflement because I don't. Oh, Jesus. It's right here. So the separate moment of bafflement is, why couldn't I see it? It's right there. It's where I always put it. Okay, two experience for me. That's very nice. And then I will use the bottom of slipping into death to move to, and frustratingly not, being an enemy because they have to have four or fewer hit points for slipping into death to bane them with the move action. But I did the special move action, even if it was nothing. I'm done. <laughs> All right. It's trap time. Okay. Hip I would like to use the top here. of four catcher to create one um, attack four trap in an empty hex within two hexes. A four damage trap in an empty hex within two hexes. So you're right here. Uh, where are you thinking to put this? Uh... Maybe in the middle, towards the middle. Let's see. And it has to be two X's away. You can't yeah. quite get it into here unless you move first. But you can put okay. it here, and then it's in between two dudes. 
Yeah. Is it a bottom card you're using or a top card? Top. What are you what's what are you doing on the bottom? I'm gonna increase the value of it. You can also you can still move three first. Mm -hmm. So you can move with oh no, the trap has to be down before you do it. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. Putting it down. And and then you're going to with what card? This sounds cool. And then with the bottom of Flurry of Nails, I'm going to move three and jump one. Jump. No, it's just you have to move three, but you can jump the whole way if you want. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Where are you jumping to? To the uh, your left. Into the corner? Yeah. All right. The pillar, so you do some smashing. Yeah, towards the pillar, maybe. Uh huh. Yes. All right. And with that, I'm going to increase um, the damage of my trap by one. By one. All right. So now it is a damage five trap. Uh, hold on. You. No, you ha she has to move through the trap to increase it. Oh. oh. Increase the damage or heal value of up to two traps you move through by one. So yeah, she has to jump through, just move oh. through the trap. So. Yeah. Uh, well, hold on. on. Do you want to have put just, we'll just put the trap here? And then you moved over it. It's a damage five trap. It's still behind some guys. Same benefit of pushing and pulling and doing a bunch of damage. That's true. If I get it. So, so, so you guys actually can't see. She still has in play unavoidable outcomes. So on the next instance of an enemy ending its movement in a hex adjacent to any trap, regardless of your line of sight, spring one trap adjacent to that enemy and apply its effects to the enemy. So she, we kind of do want it. We want it somewhere where the, maybe oh. it's some kind of and somebody's going to move into like next to it. Okay. Is it end the movement adjacent? Because they he, she can still take out the elite if she does it that way. Okay. It'd almost be preferable to take out the elite that way. Yeah, it's end their movement, but Martin did confirm we have to move. They have to move. Yeah, oh, they do they have, they to, have move. to move. So we're kind of too cramped. Like, no, they're doing calculated strikes, so they are going to move, but they're all already next to a foci. Could you show me when number six is going to move? He's not next to a foci, is he? Oh, yeah, number six. Yeah, he, he won't, so he'll have to move. So, yeah, I guess, actually, we could just not power up the trap and, and leave it here, and he'll move around to get to you and take the trap damage. I think yeah, that's already, move. already five damage. Okay, four. it'll be four. four. That's yeah, pretty good. Yeah, that's pretty good. That's, that's good. That's pretty okay. It's pretty fine. All right. <laughs> Is that everything? Yeah. Okay. Boom. Good turn. Algox priests are going to tend to the clan. Thanks. I hate it. Uh, elite number one. He has to try. He has to use the seal on the person with the most damage, which of course is Algox guard three. So he removes all of the negative conditions, but does not yet heal him. Heal it. Yeah. Painful. Uh, then number four will i guess because it's a ranged heal it doesn't move for its focus but it will heal him same guy because he's the most damaged so heal him three back up to four okay. and then number five uh it's still this number four guy who's the most damaged he gets healed up to seven atrocious yeah because it's the it's the difference between oh he moves like he had a single target melee in that case great the priest walks into here he walks into there yeah he takes three damage oh wait hold on hold on i'm sorry this guy would have done that first no this guy he would did. step back this guy would step one why are two. these guys taking three damage hmm i have a card that um okay. on the next Six instances of an enemy entering a hex adjacent to me. That enemy suffers three damage. So wait. which guy stood next uh, to me, James? Wait, this guy wouldn't step to Michaela. He would step to me because I went before her. Okay. So which guy the guy taking three damage me, is number four. Okay. He's got two health. And he's poisoned. Ooh, he's somebody's poisoned. standing next to him. I am standing next to him. Great. Very Excellent good. News. Okay. At least something is looking bright. It's happening. <laughs> okay. 
Drift away, Greg. Okay. I am going to uh, move to, I'll just juke back and forth. Whoa. That's going to minus one from one of my uh, cards. Glorious. Uh, then. You like the yes. Then uh, I'm going to uh, attack for the, I guess, the Algox god with the least shield there who's standing next to me. Uh, the least shield? So the, yeah, guy who's back up to seven now? Yeah. Well, he He's only has three shield three. Shield, right? Yep. Yeah, so this is an attack four. Pulling it. Uh, times two. Dead. Dead. Ha, ha, ha. The priest wasted all their healing on this jerk. Eight minus three. Seven. Yeah, he's Different. not dead. What? I thought you said. He's oh, because he has shield. shield. Ah. So it was an attack four. It went up to eight. But he's also three. adjacent, right? He's adjacent he is, to me. Yeah. Yep. Really okay, so he's down to three. Oh, that was down to two. Not dead. Two. No. He was at three damage. He just took five. Yeah. He had. Yeah. Oh, he took five. Yes. Because you yeah, did yeah. eight against shield three. Four yes. Went to eight yes. Shield, You're right. Shield three. You're right, Greg. Five. I'm okay. sorry. My brain is clattered with despair. Uh, <laughs> I can move. I'm not going to. Uh, instead, I will. Uh... Thing is, Martin, I'm so much better at math than in most things. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I will instead attack. Um, I get to attack again. This is another attack four. Uh, New target. You should attack. You should attack the elite guard. He's got poison on him. He's got. Yeah, I think you're right. So this yeah. is an attack five. Attack five. But he has shield four, right? He has shield four. Yep. Yeah. Attack well, five against shield five four. Anyway. Uh, plus one. So that's two damage. Two damage. Good. Uh, all right, and that is my turn. All right. Well done. All right. Bring the pain, Rich. Okay, the bottom of Unending Torment, I will heal myself five. I would heal somebody else five, but it is only me that I can heal. What? Uh, Why? It says heal rules. self five. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah that's fine. <laughs> when the card says self on it, that's a very legit. I thought reason. you said you would heal someone, as, and you would heal an additional character, but you just no, were choosing not to. If it was yeah. just a heal five, I probably would give it to James. Right, right, right. <laughs> Uh, I'll muddle myself and put wind in the air. All right. Where and uh, with the top of explosive wounds, I will hurt. I'll do two damage to Greg and every enemy adjacent to me. Oh, oh, oh. All right. I will gladly do that. Tell now me number three is, is dead. Oh, yeah. Number three is dead. Number three the is elite. dead. Two damage to priest four. He's dead. Ah, that's great. That's great news. And two damage to the elite guard, who is now down to five, and he's about to bleed a little. Yeah, he didn't get his wound, he didn't get his wound healed in the end. Okay, all right. This is looking I'm up. Bu I'm bullish now. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, somebody walk next to that trap. Okay. That guy well, is going to walk. Not only is that guy going to walk next to the trap, he's going to walk next to me oh. and take some damage, and then he's going to take damage from the trap. And I'm going to get one more turn. I don't know how much I'll manage to do with it, but I do have one more turn. I think we might kill the god, actually. How much is that trap? Four damage? It's it's a four damage trap. Three damage from me. Okay. Yeah, seven damage might kill it. Seven damage, know. we'll kill it. It's got, four, it's got four damage on it already. Hell okay, yes. Good. All right, here we go. Elite guard number two bleeds. And then he, sure does. he attacks... The Drifter. So sure this does. is an attack six on the Drifter. Okay. Pulling it minus one. Six, five, minus one for my shield is three damage. Okay. Minus two for my shield. One. Normal guard six will take two steps and just explode. He will take three damage immediately. And when he ends his move action, he takes four damage from the trap. And dies. Boom. Wait, what's the rules on the card, James? Does, uh, uh, sorry, Michaela. Does he get his? Uh, does he get his action first, or does he die at the end of his move? I think he moves at the end. 
Next instance of an enemy ending its movement. Yes. Know, yep. Yeah, he doesn't get his stack done. Fantastic. That's the instance. Ah. Oh, beautiful. All right. That was great stuff. Well, this has been a terrific round 10. I got to say. I'm resting. Would you say the best round 10 of your life? Michaela? I would say. God, that was good. <laughs> Do you feel Feels exhilarated, good. Michaela? Yes. This is what it's all about. <laughs> yeah. This, this is, is the turn. I, legitimately, yeah. though, this is the turn. Like, this is the most exciting part of the game. <laughs> all right. We're going into round 11. Lots of elements in the air. I can Probably act can. once more. Probably can't do much, but I can act once more. Uh, uh, yeah, I am. What's the move? It's got to be this. Okay. Ready. What is, what is my plan? What is my plan? I don't know. Okay. Doesn't matter. Act as quickly as I can in the hopes of getting to act. Like Round 11. Is everybody ready? Ready. Put them up, team. Boom. No, and then uh, I gotta shuffle. One sec. Gotta shuffle those Algox priests. Oh, I should have said before. Uh, I'm planning on killing that Algox god, but if somebody else can get him first, I can I can hammer on somebody else. Well, we'll see what happens. Okay. Probably not going to act, but let's find out. Sound off, pain conduit. Twenty-five. 25. How about you, Drifter? 17. Pain Conduit, Deep Wraith, Drifter, Trapper? 47. 47. And then the priests will go at 8, and the guards oh, no. will go at 15. Uh, there is oh, there's good and bad news here. Okay. Oh, uh, oh all right. The Ice Speaker. The ice spear will go at 17. Okay. It's mostly bad news. After me. After you. Yep. Okay. So check it out. The, uh, the guards, or the one guard, the elite guard, is going to do parry and thrust. Get one more shield, or one, yeah, one additional shield, and retaliate two. The okay. priests at eight are going to do drain speed, which is a move minus one, and then an attack plus zero, and wouldn't you know... I'm both of their targets with one hit point and no cards to burn. Including no two cards in my discard to burn. Uh, then, then the uh, Algox Ice Speaker will do Warding Swipe, which is a move plus one, and then an attack that hits four hexes in a sweeping pattern in front of it. And then it gives okay. itself shield one and it puts earth in the air. So it's not catastrophic, but it does prevent me from doing anything. Some people are going to be taking some damage here. So let's start. So it's yeah. starting with the priest. Yeah. Oh yeah. This is great. This is really good, because well the he takes have... he takes a damage for his wound. One damage for his wound, and then he has move minus one, which is move two. He wants yeah. to step away from me to remove disadvantage, so he steps next to you. He sure does, and takes three more damage. Three more damage. Okay. So this priest is in poor condition indeed. Perhaps not as poor as I'm about to be. This <laughs> is an attack three with pierce two that causes immobilize, although I've heard it said that you can't get any more immobile than dead. Do attack you get three. the, well, you die, you die before you get the negative condition, right? Yes. Yeah, the damage is applied before the condition. Yeah. Uh, it's a plus zero. Click, trill, snip, click. We hardly knew ye. Damn. Although, if you, if, if, team, if you pull this off, I did accomplish my battle goal, I think. Nice. The other priest will focus on. Three, and move out of the way. So, who's going earlier? The drifter. It'll focus on the drifter. Doesn't need to move. This is an attack three with no pierce that causes immobilize. Attack three, pulling it. Times two. Six minus two from my shield. Is four. Eek. I am at one health. Whew. Give me that immobilize. Mine. My immobilize. You have it. Woo. Boom. <laughs> the pain conduit absorbs the damage or the immobilization. Why am I holding these cards still? These mean nothing to me anymore. 
Alas, Martin, I had I had my two active cards I was playing, and then I have one card in my discard pile. Uh, I got I was already in a like rapid card burning to stay alive form. Oh, Drifter lose a card. I can see a case for that, because you're gonna lose a card to stop yourself from dying, probably. Yeah, so I'll lose the card. I'll lose the card when I'm about to die. Okay. Same to me. Yeah, I guess at this point, maybe there is a case for, for preserving cards left over hit points. Yeah, I'm, gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm about to heal you. Oh, oh, fantastic. That's brilliant. even better news. Sorry. Brilliant. I, my plan was to heal um, the deep rate, but he done died. Oh, he's dead. Yeah. So, next best thing. Can't get any less healed than dead. Uh, <laughs> the guard, of course, adds one shield, so he now has... Uh, Five shield and, and two retaliate. One and one more wound. Bit. Drip, drip, drip. He's down to two hit points. All right. Oh, have you... Or is he down to three hit points? Did you already put it on him? I just put it on him, yeah. So he has. he's down to three. Okay, he's down to three now. Hey, that's not bad. Okay, wait. Sadly, i got to take myself out of order here. Okay, that's the guard. Give me the beat, Greg. Free my soul. So that dude has the, the the priest has six shield, yeah. The priest has six shield, yeah. He has six shield. He's gonna. Okay. In that case, I will attack him. Okay. This is an attack six. Okay. PS2. Oh, he's down to four so shield. An, so an effective an, an effective attack two, but let's see what happens here. All right. Pull a plus one. Uh, attack six, pulling it. Uh, plus zero, move one of the character tokens on my thing backwards one. Well, that's Don't even mind better. if I do. Uh, so it's got to be my shield. Um, uh, but it is a plus zero, so that was uh, an attack two. So I did two damage. He'll die. He's got a death sentence now. Yeah, from his wound. Yeah, because he can't. Wound. He'll never get a chance to heal himself. Yeah. Brilliant. All right. We could all learn something from Greg. Uh, still managing to squeeze joy from the sole character mechanic of moving tokens back one, uh, fifty-two episodes <laughs> at over a year in. Okay. Hey, man. <laughs> I get to move little things. Good work, <laughs> Drifter. Let's not enjoy. All right. The ice speaker is going to move four. One, two, three, right next to you. Well, he takes three damage. But he wants to maximize his damage, so I guess... Wait, and he only had four? Did I say he had four? Yes. So he actually can't get any closer. But he'll move to here in the end to have tried to get closer. Oh, he's taken three damage, so he's no longer he's he's no longer uh, untouched. Great. Well, this is an attack three because it's an attack minus one that causes okay. brittle. Pulling it plus zero. Uh, so I will burn my brittle. Card. My brittle. My brittle. But yep. Rich takes my brittle, but I will burn a card. Excellent. <laughs> Rich, nice seven and four. Uh, no. This one. Okay. Summons go before you, so their first turn is right before your next turn. Ah. And now it's the pain conduit. Thank you, Martin. Uh, yeah, it is pain conduit time. Okay, the bottom of transferred injury, I will heal the drifter three. Yay. Very nice. Um, and wound my, that wounds me. Uh, now with the line with the top of line of transference, I will consume the wind. Uh, attack four, range three, oh, um, and whoever I attack is getting riddled, muddled, uh, immobilized, yeah, and wounded. I think you cool. I, you want that on the ice speaker for sure. I think you want that on the ice speaker. Yeah. Oh, yeah. if I was attack. still around, I. Ah, uh, this is the first time it's ever come up, and I have put it off for over a year. So there's the my 
my thing that would otherwise happen when when too many conditions were applied can't happen yet. All right, so attack four. Yeah, yeah. Minus one. Well, no damage, but it's all a matter of perspective, like? Martin. Some might say they're lazy. Some Ooh. might say they're living for today. Brittle. So yeah, I'll, with the prince, I'll remove the brittle and give it to him. And then because of shared affliction, I give him everything else that I had, nice. which yeah. is wound, immobilize, okay. and muddle. All right. So... I'm just going to put the one on the next line down just yeah. so that I can remember it. But it, oh, I put immobilize twice. Yes, you double uh, that. Muddle. There we go. Okay. And so am I adjacent to, am I adjacent to anything that has less than uh, shield three? Uh, no. Less than shield three? No. There is nothing that is less than shield four. So using my random attack two thing isn't going to help. No. No, I don't see that coming through for you. Okay. Okay. All right. Trapper. Okay. Trapper's going to trap with the top of Spike Pit. I'm going to create a three damage and a mobilized trap in an empty oh. hex within two hexes. All right. Shall we? Hmm. Uh, so you're going to pair it. She's going to pair it with the lure. So we want it somewhere where she can pull someone through it next. Oh, week. then she'll just put it right, right here. And then and I'm going to use the bottom of furry facade to summon the shaggy lure. Shaggy lure. What's the range on the shaggy lure? Sorry? What's the Three. range? Three? Yeah. Okay, that's great. Yeah. Maybe mm -hmm. you want to put that trap next to to kill the priest then. If you put oh. it like one further. Because the other priest is going to die from his wound. Yeah. Yeah, like that. That's actually a good point. I make those occasionally. Yeah. Nice. I, I, yeah, I don't know why I said actually like that's a surprise, but I mean, <laughs> it is a good point. It's an excellent point. All right. Shaggy lures out, looking boombastic. They call me Mr. Boombastic. That's an excellent Shaggy impression, Greg. Thank yeah. you. He nailed it. Just like <laughs> Thank you. Just, uh... That's what they call them, I understand. Yeah, that they do. And then a bunch of other words that I never, ever, ever understood. And then eventually he says romantic. It's also but all those words uh, in between, when I sing along to that song, I am just making guttural sounds. It's also followed by a solemn moment of silence every time it's played in Nova Scotia. In honor of the Halifax explosion. Ah, okay. That was a thinker. <laughs> um... <laughs> <laughs> Not my joke. If you've ever seen uh, Welcome to Halifax, the extremely old internet sketch, it, it is it is very good. Oh right, by uh, by our long ago picnic face, the picnic sketch comedy face. Show. Yeah. Yep. Oh, we got. Well, that was a blast yeah. from the past. All right. All long dead by now. Surely. <laughs> <laughs> nope, just your discard. And then okay. randomly. We're heading into round 12. I am remembering that I have three decks to shuffle before we can start round 12, so I'm doing it now. So we can keep the flow going. Mm -hmm. Oh, man. I think we're pulling this off. Well, weird. I shouldn't... I should, and then maybe I should say you or... Because you want to be able to go early this turn. <laughs> Michaela is taking a damage to not lose the card she wants to use on her short rest. Great. We have to announce that, or the people won't believe us. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we're actually pulling this off. Um, we're doing far better than I thought we were going to do. Greg, really are you adjacent to a, to a bunch of dum dums again? I am adjacent to three dum dums. Sweet. I'm ready then. <laughs> All right. Okay. Is everybody oh, ready? No, you have four health. I have four health now. Okay. Everybody so ready? Please, kill me as much as you want. 
<laughs> All right. Round 12. Put them up, team. Boom. And I'll flip three cards here. Oh, for fuck's sake. Um, all right. Sound off. Pink onto it. 25. 25. How about you, Drifter? 25. Secondary cards, gentlemen? 43. It's rich. I got 66. Boom. Oh. Uh, Trapper? 20. 20. And then, at the end, the ice speaker will act. And then at the actual end, the guard will act. The priests are going first. This time, they're doing angry hex. So they will move plus one, although neither of them actually have to... Actually, one of them will move. Hey, we're allowed to make them do whatever stupid thing we want when they... Oh, wait, no, that's not how this trap works. Never mind. Okay. Uh, well, this priest will take a step back, and then... No, he won't. He'll die. He takes a point yeah, from his wound, right. and he's dead. Death sentence. Ha-ha. Feels good. This priest won't move. He gets two targets, so he will be targeting the lure, unfortunately, uh, and Whoa. the trapper. Yep. Really target, right? Yeah. Yeah. The lure, lure and, the, and the trapper. What are what there... what are the hit points? What's the hit point situation for the lure? Two, and she doesn't have a card to lose for it. All right. Does she have two in her discard? No. Damn. She just this, rested down to two cards. This is an attack two. Attack two, pulling it, plus two. Ah, damn. Oh, man. Just call it Angel of the Morning, baby. Oh, shoot. Yeah, that's a bummer. Well. That was going to be a really good move. It was, yeah. It, it was a um, well, the best laid plans, as they say. On your turn, there's nothing you can do. Uh, you have no time to react. You just watch your lure get yeah. killed. All right, Trapper. <laughs> Now, with your with your dreams That's crumbling around you, it's time to <laughs> improvise. Okay, I'm gonna just keep it simple and move to attack to that pillar. Oh, the pillar. Yep. yep. All right, attack two on the pillar. Pull that. Zero. Two damage. Two on the pillar. We're gonna kill the pillars eventually. <laughs> like, I gotta die. <laughs> I don't know that I, I don't know that we're gonna wind up killing the pillars, but who knows? That might wind up being the clutch move in the end. Pain conduit. Rich. Oh, oh. The very first music album guided by voices ever bought for himself was a cassette tape copy of Juice Newton's Angel of the Morning. How about that? I was making a Shaggy reference to the phase of Shaggy's career where all of his songs, instead of being cool, uh, were really, really dorky. Uh, built on like P. Diddy style samples where he's just playing an old song and then doing his thing on it. I'm not saying that Angel of the Morning is itself a dorky song. I'm just saying it's not. Yeah. Rich! It wasn't okay. good when Shaggy um... did it. <laughs> Pink <laughs> conduit. Uh, yeah, Drifter and all adjacent allies suffer two damage. I take two damage, and then the elite god takes Bubble two syrup. damage, which is uh, death. Casting sentence. a vote for Rich in the Emoji Wars, and then yes. the the uh, Ice Speaker takes four damage. Thank you, God of by Voices. So he's ah uh, yes, he's down. I'll Three. move his muddle up. Yeah. Uh, okay. Anything else? Uh, uh we'll move out of there. No, I don't want to move out of there. No. That could cut okay. down on your pain intake. You death sentenced the Algox God. So yeah. we are in good shape here. Okay, yeah, that's it. Ooh. Ah. I thought that I had made the Michaela emote. Hold on. No, let me let me you go into the, uh, the emoji wars. Ah, Shoot. And it's James's fault. Ha! Yep. Boom. No, it's not my fault. There she is. <laughs> Michaela's first point on the board in the Emoji Wars. <laughs> Eat your heart out, oh, Lauren. Fantastic. James. All right. Excellent stuff. Okay. Uh, it is now the Drifter's turn. 
I move up one. Nice. Loving that loot. Uh, as part of that movement, I get to move something back. Wait, actually, ooh, Fuck what yes, is the Algox? What is the, uh, yes, I do. What is the uh, Algox Ice Speaker doing? Just ah, the Algox Ice Speaker is going to do two fisted strike, which is a move minus one, followed by an attack minus one, where it can consume frost to add plus two to it, followed by an attack minus one, where it can consume the earth, which is there, to add plus two to it. An attack minus one for this guy is an attack three that causes brittle. Okay. Making up for lost well. time, Michaela. Although mm-hmm. against all, against all odds, Danielle was was uh, head on the leaderboard. Should I move to? Oh right, he's immobilized. He's immobilized, so there is the whole thing. His move minus one is actually just a move zero. Uh, ooh, I think I can kill him though. I'm gonna try <laughs> to kill him. All right. Uh, this is an attack four against his shield six. Yeah. One, two, three, five. Shield five. He is he is five away from this one. So he's only got three coming in plus his base shield two. Okay. So this is an attack four. Attack Pulling four. It. Minus one. Okay. But then okay. this is an <laughs> another attack four. Pulling it. Times two. Nice. Mm. So that is Eight minus what? Minus five. That's three. That's a clean kill. That is a clean kill. Uh, The ice speaker is dead. Good for him. That is so good. Greg loots too. (laughs) I knew he had a wound. I was only trying to do a couple damage to him so he would kill himself with his wound. But that's even better. I like that. Okay. Uh, And then I get some loot. What did I get? You got two loots. Let's find it. A single coin and an arrow vine. Wait, I yeah, think that we're bad. going to exhaust fighting just pillars. We don't have to defeat the pillars. We don't have to defeat the pillars. Wait. Oh, I thought we had to, do, thought we had to kill all monsters and defeat all the pillars. Yeah, wait, hold on. Let me, no, 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 let no. me verify that the language says all monsters and not all enemies. That's true, because the pillars are enemies. You've got kill all enemies on the screen. The, okay, but that it. that is just what I always say when it's kill them all. No, the language is clear. Monsters. Okay. So okay, great. I will have, I will keep that in mind when typing the goal yeah, in the future. Michaela's, Michaela's uh, hit a pillar was because I thought we had to kill all the pillars. Ah. Okay. Cool. Uh, I'm also gonna slap on. I'm gonna hit my amulet of life. And I'm going to drink my stone skin potion, which gives me regenerate. Okay. Mine. My regenerate. <laughs> no! <laughs> <laughs> All right. The Algox Ice Speaker is dead. <laughs> yes. And the Algox God dies. Which you love to see. Which all we have to do is five damage to the Algox Priest. Ooh, that's tough. If we can get him to step ah, into that trap, Greg, if we Greg, get him to step Stone, me. Greg, stone skin, and this makes a lot of sense when you think about what it's called. Oh, stone skin gives you ward. Oh, yes, the, that is what is, I meant. That is what yeah. I meant. Got it by voice. They are kind of similar looking. Uh, but, yeah, stone like hands. Stone skin. Uh, yeah. Well, oh, pink. I mean. Yeah. So ward gives you. It's it's like backwards brittle. You take half damage yeah. on the next hit. Or the next damage. Traps too. Next source of damage, I take half. Okay. All right. Well, things are looking up going into lucky round 13. Short. We both have to short rest again. I'm going to short rest too. We're all short resting. You just you just got to shuffle all three of those guys. Just a bunch of sleepy peepees over here. Give her one. Give her I like to imagine the short resting uh, in this game. I'm, t- I'm taking the damage. Can't lose this one. Shit. I need to do this as well. Okay. This is my last turn. Greg, I've when you said I need to do me. this, did you mean you need to take damage to not lose a card? Uh, No. I uh, yeah. I meant I need to get rid of this card. Okay. 
even though it's good. That, I think that would have been a hilarious use of your ward. <laughs> Does is that? Can you use wood in that way? Well, it's the next source of damage. But I believe, hold on. I think that it's half rounded up, but let me check. Because if it's half rounded up, that's meaningless on a one. Well, I didn't anyway. I'm doing this. You can long rest. When you long rest, your No, it's rounded down. You could turn a one so into a zero. You actually have two rounds. If you have a pole, we can maybe kill this guy. If he wa if he chooses to walk into me, that would be even better. But he's got mostly range stuff. If he does, if yeah, he pulls like, a heel, if he pulls a heel, he will actually step to you because he targets like he has a melee attack. But then he'll heal. Would himself. he heal himself or a pillar? He would heal himself at that point. Yeah, unless the pillar had been beaten up a little harder. So Michaela had the right idea, just attacking that pillar out of nowhere. So all okay. right, this is it. <laughs> just just hurt this dude. Just. Just make him die. Just him. Make him die. Make uh, did you kill off the Algox guard and the ice speaker in the thing? Uh, kill off. Yep. Yep. Kill off. Both. Okay. Every now and then, I have to go back and off. look at the tab, or else it stops updating in OBS. All right. Okay. I see. I see what's going on here. <laughs> Round thirteen. Is everybody ready? Put them up, team. Yep. Boom. All right, and then sound off, pain conduit. Oh, 43. why am I? I'm flipping all the cards. There's only a priest. Forty-three. All right. How about you, Drifter? Twenty-five. Twenty-five. How about you, Trapper? Twenty. Twenty. All right. Well, the priest is going last. I like that. That is good. Uh, I'll confess that I completely forget all of your numbers, though. 20, 25, and something Rich said. 43. 43. So Michaela was 25? Or 20, I mean? 20. Great. Yeah. Okay. I got it. We're all set up. You did. And yes, Martin raises an interesting point, which is that it is worth thinking about, is someone going to go get that chest in the corner? I don't think so. Okay. Uh, but also, you didn't get it. What? Is yours oh. tw Rich, is yours 23 or 43? Sorry. 43. Yeah, no... That was, that was, it was right in my mind. I just physically put it down wrong. Uh, Trapper, get us What's started. The trap can do a jump four. Okay, I'm going to pull the same move as I did earlier. And I'm going to create one four damage trap within two hexes of me. All right. A with single the top four of damage catcher. trap with the top of, sorry, what's it called? Four catcher. War catcher, and where do you want oh, to put it's that? It's useful in this case to know what the priest is doing. Uh, calculated strike, he's going to move minus one, so move one, and he's going to back away from his target, which will be Michaela, so we can make him like an idiot back into uh, yeah, Martin is insisting you jump to the chest. Is that something you can do? Do you have a are you, do you have a jump uh, four right now, Michaela? Yes. Yeah, Michaela should take the treasure. Unless you had a, a hit yeah. the uh, hit, hit the pillar and take the treasure. <laughs> well, where's the okay. trap going? Where's the trap going? Trap can't go. It's the same card. Oh, okay. Mine right. is backseat frost running. Insisting oh we get this treasure. Well, to be fair, we yeah, probably, probably it's probably the reason wise we're doing that is because there's a person watching us who knows what that treasure is and it's really wants us to get it. Okay. All right. And Martin, Mar Martin. I, Martin, I believe, wants what's best for us, so it's probably not a risk. I think so too. Probably Martin definitely risk. wants what's best for us. I think Martin is a friend to all creatures. You though, is the problem. <laughs> That's okay. That's all right. <laughs> um so okay, change of plans. I'm going to use the top of furry facade to attack two, that pillar. All right. Attack two on and the then... pillar. Pull it. Pull it. Okay, oh. give me... <laughs> Martin is a reveal. He doesn't know what's in the chest. He's just in favor of us being wise and maximizing our treasure. I kind of like Martin's plan. Um, no. No. <laughs> no. Okay. okay. But then jump Keep four Keep in mind, though, you could pull the ultimate heel turn here and just, <laughs> just say, fuck Martin. <laughs> no, no, we're we're doing the heroic version. Okay, hold on. I gotta find out what chest number it is. One second. All right. 
10. The door took us to 65.3 in the other book. <sighs> on 65.3 in the section book. Waffle well, Stub, you say that. You say a chest has never been bad for a player, but you have forgotten the wisdom of Rusty Nail. Yeah, there are damage trap. There are treasures <laughs> that just hurt you. Yeah, oh man, I was just look I just had it. I was just looking at the treasure number and then we all got Got me all fired up of a bad treasure. 71. Treasure number 71, which I now look up in a third book. And by these powers combined, you gain four loot cards. Ah, nice. That's pretty good. Woo. Congratulations. Uh, <laughs> Thank God I got that. You got them loots. All right, let's kill this guy. Checking let's it off. Let's kill this guy. Hold on. Yep. She just got four loots. We have some cards to draw. Here we go. One, two, one. Play two. three, four. Here we go. Michaela has looted one hide, one lumber, another lumber, and three coins. Oh, nice. Two lumber, one hide, three coins. Not bad. Not bad. What is it? <laughs> 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 okay all right okay okay it's your turn greg i'm Kill going this to dude. move up i'm going to move up one to be adjacent to him all right then i'm going to attack him six i like that he of course he's does got... have shield five shield five or shield oh he's only got one shield yeah he's a normal uh, so he has one base normal. shield and then one shield from each remaining. So this pillar. is an attack. This is an attack six. No, it's not. It's an attack. F Ooh, should I do this or that? This is a good question now. Well, what's this and what's that? Mm -hmm. Also a good question. I think because I could just pick this pronoun out like better. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So I can do an attack six PS two, or I can do two attack fours. How much I, health does it have? It, it has, has five health and five, health. five shields. So pierce two would be three shield against an attack six. I, do that. I, yeah, do the pierce. Do, that. do the pierce. Do the pierce. Okay. Because I'm going to do direct. I'm going to do two direct damage to it. Okay. Nice. Okay. By hurting me. Yeah, I'll probably kill you to kill it. No, no, I've got three health. Oh, sweet. But yeah, I've got ward. It will only do one damage to me. Oh, what nice. a world. Okay, here we go. Uh, attack six PS two, he effectively has three shields. Mm -hmm. Okay, attack six, pulling it. Plus one. Nice. So seven, seven against three, three is four damage. Four. He's down to one. Um, As we all know, we one is less than two. We got him. All right. Oh Bring the pain, <laughs> Rich. Was getting excited. Bring the pain. All right. With the top of explosive wounds, I will uh, damage everybody too. <laughs> Just damage me one is what yeah. you'll do because of my, my my ward. Okay, and Over. was that the you top of a card? I'm gonna heal myself back up to full for funsies. Was that the top of a card? Yeah. You want to move on to a loot? Nope. Oh, ah. Okay, he doesn't. Okay. <laughs> okay. Victory! Holy smokes! Well done, Over. team. Well, like, uh, more so, know. like team, not including me. There is no I in team, as they say. But I did do something at least on the first uh, round. Okay. So we get our resources from loot cards. So Greg, yes, prepare to record. To the resource screen. Uh, and I will take us. No, why is this doing this? Oh, obviously Wait, I should be like doing this. We all use our big cards. Okay, hit me with the numbers. Uh, okay. We do not have Michaela on this list. Oh, she's not in that. Oh, didn't didn't you delete her name? Delete so Lauren's like, name to add Michaela, or did I do that and not you? Having Michaela uh, on this list do, means that she do it. Again, right? Like that's the only way that that matters is if Michaela ever plays again, or is it if 
this trapper ever played me. We'll just create a new trapper. We don't need to worry about putting Michaela on a list. Just add it to Lauren and it'll show up for Michaela. And if Michaela ever plays again, she'll play the trapper. And if anybody else plays the trapper, they'll play the trapper. Yep. Dan really wants to leave it open. <laughs> <laughs> Michaela, you gotta play again. Listen, Michaela, before you decide if you're never gonna play again, just listen to how much lumber you get. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> just really. So. All right. The Lurker Deep Wraith gains one hide and three coins. Three and gold. What does that convert to? Like three gold. Sorry. Oh, three gold. Okay. Yeah, like Waffle Syrup doesn't know Michaela th that well, but, but she's as happy as he's ever seen her. <laughs> I don't, I don't know. So, uh, the, the Drifter... Gets one arrow oh. vine and three gold. Okay. And then our hero, Michaela, gets two lumber, one hide, and nine gold. What? Right? Holy I'm shit. Rich. Holy shit. See? Uh, it was, yeah, it was the big green, big gold three piecer. Uh, yeah, and and now, that is your happiest moment that waffle syrup has ever seen. It was right <laughs> when you found out about the gold. Okay. Cool. Battle goals. The trapper was the plebeian. Never kill an elite enemy, named enemy, or boss. You killed multiple elite enemies or boss. Did she? No. Yeah, she did. She killed some elites. She did? All right. That's it. Well, Michaela's just too much of a patrician for that one. Yeah, that's it. Too classy. The Drifter. So I have a clarifying question about mine. Yeah? What is the name of my battle goal again? Uh, Well, the Drifter was the Duelist. And the duelist must never exit a hex adjacent to an enemy except through forced movement. Did you ever so, step away? So here's the thing. I exited hexes next to enemies, but only to move into hexes next to enemies. No, no. That's exiting a hex next to an enemy. That's exiting a hex? Then yeah. I didn't do it. And I only right. did it near the end when I was juking. But by that point, we had to put everything on the table to win. All right. I have a feeling Rich got his though, based on the his pain conduit. The pain conduit. If it's available. The pain <laughs> conduit was the ascetic. Collect fewer loot tokens than any other character. You could have looted at the end and still done this, but you played it nope, safe. You gotta be safe. Yeah. One check mark for the pain conduit. And Michaela, how many masteries did you do this scenario? <laughs> did anyone achieve a mastery? I did. I did not. I certainly yeah. didn't. Uh, no, so, I think I'm gonna do every negative condition in, in one turn to get my. <laughs> yeah, here's a nice thing. A... Yeah. Wait, had a good, had a good round for yeah. that. Unless there's no rule that you had to not be exhausted to do your battle goal, right? No, there's not. Nope. I it wasn't included. No, so the deep wraith was the specialist. Never perform a basic action, which I never once did. Two check marks. Two check marks for that? Two check marks. I almost never do special action. Yeah. I never, never do ba base actions. Yeah, oh, nice. congratulations. I believe I get a perk, but hold on. Let me find out for sure. Wow. No. I've... Have I never accomplished a battle goal yet? Is it click, trail, snip, click? I guess not. I mean, we don't right. accomplish them as much in Frosthaven as we did in Gloomhaven. No, the ones from Frosthaven are a bit harder than the Gloomhaven ones. I was I was doing pretty good with the Bone Shaper. But so good. Oh yeah, and I've gotten tons, but uh, you know, they're just harder to achieve. I've also yeah. been here forever. All right. So you played uh, both, man. Yeah. No masteries, so it's time to read. The concluding text, 42.4. Now is your chance to put everything away willingly. 
crystal enclosure conclusion. It's one thing to fight a horde of enormous frost-coated warriors, but it's another entirely to fight them in a place where the very air drains your strength. These planes frustrate you. The spikes, the cold, they leach your energy at such an incredible rate that after catching your breath, you smash the remaining ice spikes in the hope that it foils whatever machinations the ice speakers were planning. Smash, 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 smash. Here's the drifter over here, the trapper, just swinging a bear trap, the pain conduit, just using his face, and he loves it. You stow your weapons and look further out into the tundra. There are more. Another field of spikes, a short sled ride away, mocking you with their presence. You remount your sled and head further east, determined to put an end to this nonsense. But as you approach the second field, your determination turns to despair. The first field was perhaps the size of a small orchard, but this one stretches far into the distance, extending all the way out to the white fire wood, where it bends around like a river. It's much too large to destroy by hand, so you have to follow the trail of spikes and hope it leads to their source. We gain one morale. Okay. And no, one nice inspiration. Fire. Okay. You'll have to track the inspiration, but I can put the morale on. No, the you've got it, Greg. It's on the console. Oh, you! Oh, you've put it on the console now. Good for you. Yep. Eighteen, and we've got one more morale. That puts us up to sixteen morale. Excellent. Very, very good. All right. uh, and how much bonus experience do we get? Uh, great question, Greg. Uh, I believe it is... Dun, dun, dun. What scenario level are we on? I don't know. Scenario level... Look at the top uh, of the console. Two. two. I'm looking. Two. Thank you. Eight. Eight, Eight bonus XP. Fantastic. And then, based on that text, I don't think, because I'm pretty sure they always put the symbols in the scenario book, I don't think it's a forced link, but I'm curious because of how the language it kind of implied that we went right out there. So, let me pop open the next one. No, it's definitely not forced linked. What's the scenario number? It might be in the errata. 18. But no, it looks like we're clear. Ooh, and after the crystal fields, we have yet another one uh, fork in the road where we must make a choice. Ooh, and it's a choice that actually will, will uh, permanently set us on one of two possible pathways. Like, it's never going to reconverge. It's not two different ways to the same goal. That's cool. Oh, so we got to make a decision. On the next, on this next one, you're saying After make, we, we need to make a decision, yeah, and that will determine what oh, what outcome we will inevitably fly towards. Exactly. Okay. Now I just I you do ready? want to look at the next one in the book. We'll have to check the errata too, because again, the language was very clear that you can only get here by sled, but there's no sled symbol. Well, it's a thing. I don't know. Maybe we can get there some other way. Um, All right. Well, Greg is at three out of five now towards his goal. Yeah, yes. We are going to retire the Drifter someday. And Greg will get to play another character. Uh, it was scenario 18. Yep. Uh,. Uh, there's a couple of notes about scenario 18 in the errata, so you might want to check those out before. Okay. You. Uh... Yeah. But yeah, if it's not a sled one, I think the case. I think there might be a strong case for returning to the uh, to the crystal clan, crystal crown, and lurker pathway, uh, which should have a. a, a ship requirement in it forever going to get this drifter retired mm -hmm. okay well awesome there you go what would you say michael on a scale of one to ten how do you reach your first frost haven experience 
I would say a solid seven. Nice. All right. If it ended in two nights, would it have been an eight? No, I think night three really put it all together. Because <laughs> we won. Yeah, yeah night three. Ed- night three was exciting. There was a yeah, lot of there was yeah. a lot of turns of fortune there. The ending is often crazy. For and the ups. only thing that brought it down was that I just don't understand. Like I couldn't make the moves you guys are making. You know what might help you is that Rich is about to get a game in the mail sometime soon, apparently, if he hasn't already. That is supposed to be a simplified version of Gloomhaven, where you play like as a little tiny person trying to do little tiny people adventures. Yeah, I need to spend some more time playing dungeons. Mm, it's <laughs> yeah. gonna help. Yeah, we might do. Wait, we... Rich, have you gotten that in the mail? Because I saw that shipping started for no, it. No, it's uh, it, fulfillment is only in America. It's, uh, uh, tomorrow, uh, it's supposed to be next week. Um, you know, just in time for me to not be traveling every weekend, which was the whole point of getting it. <laughs> well, hey, man, you do always green. have the option of just putting it aside. Although I can understand what how. When... What are you going to do? Stop running? That's not going to happen. Like me and Ethan have to uh, pay for minis because. Yeah, yeah. I'm excited yeah. to see those minis. Well. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> those are those. Will uh, ooh, Greg, or maybe yeah. Rich knows this. Are those characters portable into Frosthaven? The Buttons and Bugs characters? They're I... super small. Yeah. The yeah. What? Uh, that said, if they use the standard cards, if they use the standard cards that everybody uses, then yes. There's no there's no reason they shouldn't be. Well, unless they just said that you can't do it, right? Well, Waffles yeah, but if they if, Waffles Up does say it's a standalone game, so it's very possible that they don't use the same co- the exact same card setup in such a way that they from, wouldn't be from what viable. I've seen. The cards the cards look to be like a dumbed down version. Okay. Yeah, they might be too different to transfer over. Okay, enough to get the basic setup of the game, but not enough to transfer over to the yeah. whole game. Yeah, okay. I mean, my thought was again that just they might explicitly have said you cannot transfer these characters because it does explicitly say you can use your Gloomhaven characters in Frosthaven and vice versa. Mm-hmm. Less, fewer cards and overall, and more characters. basic. Yeah. Well, anyway, you're gonna get that. That's gonna be cool. So hey, yeah. seven out of ten. That's not bad. Uh, and like I said, yeah. The beauty of Frosthaven is that there's really no reason that you couldn't, in October, be like, I'm not doing anything this Friday. Uh, and do you and just say, uh, enjoy it in, in the future. Frosthaven on your birthday. <laughs> Maybe I'll play with Ethan, the, the game you're getting. Button bugs? Yeah. yeah. Uh, yeah. The problem is Ethan can't read. Ah. Maybe I'll get there. It's coming. You know, you think that's a holdback, but I played a lot of games with my nephews when they couldn't read, and uh, it really helped. It made it so much easier to beat them. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, they couldn't hold the information in their heads at all. <laughs> I read them out loud, and they still well, didn't I read mean, it. Listen, I I don't think we can take away from Ethan that he can hold a lot of information in his head that he was not yeah. able to read. So yeah, who knows? I told him that we were going to see uh, that we were going to see Godzilla, and he said, "Do you think King Ghidorah will be in it?" And I like at some point we there's no way he learned about Ghidorah from anyone but me. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but like, <laughs> that was not a thing that we like dwelt on. Yeah. <laughs> all right well hey great time uh thank you for joining us michaela uh i guess i should you know just 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 in case i should toss it out there are you sure you don't want to commit all of your fridays till the rest of time <laughs> <laughs> to the frost even campaign thanks for asking i had a great time but i don't think i'll be joining every friday no i was <laughs> i I would have been shocked if that had been the result. But hey, 7 out of 10. 7 out of 10 makes me pretty optimistic this is not the last we have seen of Michaela. Uh, But also, so Greg, have you made any progress on the painting of the thing, the Death Walker? Uh, Yes, I have them set up and ready to paint. I just need to slap the paint on them, which will uh, take me no more, no no less than two days. Excellent. Because I'm thinking if... The next time 
While the syrup does make a compelling uh, argument here, Michaela, that you will score far more votes in the emoji wars if you're appearing. Um, mm-hmm. Although you, you act up a lot tonight, so you've got a buffer. Uh, <laughs> I think I might act like I'm like coming in last right now, which is kind of embarrassing. Um, but yeah, what I'm thinking is that if we can get Danielle in as the Death Walker uh, next time, uh, maybe we can use that rolling pressure to be like, come on, Lauren. Michaela and Danielle did it. And they know that they don't have to come back the next week and it's no pressure. And maybe we can get Lauren back in the rotating redhead seat uh, for player maybe two. Maybe we can get Robert back. If he dyes his hair red. But we have a gimmick now for our players. <laughs> uh, okay. Well, hey, check it out. Check it out. You all got to see me be defeated and have to watch on helplessly as my friends fought. And if you enjoy watching me suffer this weekend, I am going to be playing King's Quest Mask of Eternity on Saturday. The very first time that I am settling down uh, to play through a game that I am expecting to not enjoy. But for historical completion's sake, I got to finish off the King's Quest saga. So we're going to see how it all went wrong. There's an important caveat, which is that according to Wikipedia, it reviewed well when it came out. Now, it came out in the late 90s when like 95% of video game journalists had utter brain damage. And just like, like if they saw 3D graphics, a lot of the time they're just like, holy shit. Ah, Danish daylight savings time starts tomorrow. So Martin won't be with us live. Uh, oh. until either the next time that there's some significant holiday or our clocks once again unmatch. Uh, so there's that, uh, King's Quest Mask of Eternity, and then to keep it rolling with Sierra series coming to an ignominious end in the late 90s, uh, Quest for Glory 5, Dragon Fire, I'll be starting up on Sunday morning. I do expect that one to be kind of good. Uh at least it's not hated as much by the fans as Mask of Eternity seems to be. But I will say this. I've looked at a couple of screenshots, and it looks like dog shit. Oh, my goodness. It's really hideous. Those 3D graphics, uh, they they weren't nice to look at in the late 90s. They, they were really only a good option if you were also adding something to the gameplay. But eh, so it goes. Tuesday night. Greg and James beat them up. The last two arcade beat em ups of the 1980s. Dynamite Ducks, a game about cartoon ducks uh, beating up characters who are hopefully not racial caricatures, but uh, we'll see. I guess we'll find out. Sega's let us down before in this regard. And then uh, a really generic sounding game called Gang Wars. So that's exciting. And then before you know it, it'll be Friday, and uh, Michaela might not be here with us, but we'll put the sprite up. So you'll get to look at that. That'll be fine. Unless Danielle's here, in which case, uh, you know, she'll be there. And, uh, yeah, and on into the future. Thanks, everyone, for joining us. Wait, why am I saying this in normal words when I have a whole spiel that includes thanking everyone for joining us? If you stuck around to the end, thanks for sticking around to the end. If you came, you left, you can't hear my voice. I'm glad you stopped by anyway. So thanks for stopping by. And until the next time that we're all in the same crystal fields together, take care of yourselves. And be kind to everyone you meet.